early this morning, um, crews were called to a, a, an apparent explosion, was how it was described to us. Uh, crews arrived and uh, were faced with uh, quite a severe scene of uh, structural damage to a semi-detached building. Crews were able to immediately gain access with a police officer and uh, identified the location of a female uh, within the uh, damaged building and were able to effect a rescue uh, in the early stages. Uh, it was particularly challenging for the crews at the time as there, was, there really was a, a life or death situation there. Um, the potential of further structural collapse of the building um, and we're waiting now on um, a decision to demolish what's left of the building, I think is where we're going. We use special equipment to um, actually monitor the movement of the building that's left and we can gauge how stable or unstable that building becomes as we are working. A number of properties that have been affected by this particular incident and at some point today a, a general clean-up operation will, have, will be affected. There's debris scattered over quite a wide area uh, and some of it's still in precarious positions on rooftops etc. About 8.40 this morning there was a huge bang and I mean a huge bang. Um, I went to my window and saw a plume of dust. Um, it wasn't any flames or, or smoke, it was just dust. And then um, sort of people went running towards the, the house that was affected. Um, there's, there's a couple of children between them, but they weren't at the property at the time, thank God. You don't expect these things to happen on your doorstep. There was no fire, no smoke, anything, so I do believe it's uh, Gas related, yeah. The information we had at the time suggested there may have been more people present, um, so the, the search continued for a while. Um, but um, our police colleagues were to be able to advise us of uh, information they had received by speaking to people wider than the incident. And again, uh, you know, we've had uh, inquiries from neighbours already about the, the welfare of the people involved. It's clearly a, a close knit community, this area that, uh, that on Rosslyn Street here. Um, clearly people are concerned for their neighbours and, and um, genuinely interested in what can be done to help them.